Good evening and welcome to the Pasadena Police Department Annual Police Week Memorial Service. My name is Jerry Wright and I have the honor of being your MC for the evening. Ladies and gentlemen, will you please rise for the presentation of the colors presented by the Pasadena Police Department Law Enforcement Honor Guard, followed by our national anthem performed by South Houston High School Assistant Principal Joseph Horton. I'd like to now invite up to the podium Pasadena Police Department Chaplain Gene Hatton to give the invocation. Shall we pray? Almighty God, we bless your holy name. Father, you created a world that was perfect, yet evil was found. You chose a special people to combat this evil. These men and women put their lives in danger on a daily basis protecting our communities. They run toward danger not away from it. And sometimes they pay the ultimate price protecting us. Father, we ask your blessing and eternal rest to all those men and women who have sacrificed their very lives in serving this calling. Your word says in John 15, 13, greater love has no one than they that lay down their life for a friend. Lord, help us to never forget the price these brave men and women paid for serving our community and our fellow man. Oh God, help us all to honor these brave men and women by serving with honor, humility, and professionalism. Philippians 4, 6, and 7 says that you promise us a peace that surpasses all understanding. Lord, for those families that have lost loved ones, give them that peace that you promised, strength to bear the anguish of their loss. Remove all bitterness from their hearts, knowing that eternal peace and rest will abide over their departed loved one forever. We pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. 
Thank you, Chaplain. As we move into the program this evening, there are several dignitaries and individuals I'd like to recognize. Uh, Mayor Jeff Wagner and wife Jenny Ginn Wagner are with us. Chief of Police Josh Brueger. Assistant Chief Kevin Wingerson. And we have here from our City Council, District H, Thomas Shanebein, Councilman. Also other City of uh, Pasadena officials, uh, the Mayor's Chief of Staff, Dan Pennington, is here. Also Fire Department Chief Lanny Armstrong is here. Also retired City Attorney Lee Clark is here. We are here to honor those officers who gave the ultimate sacrifice, but also to honor those family members that loved and cherished them. To the family members, it is a blessing to our department to see you throughout the year and also on this special day of remembrance. Our first speaker for this evening has no, is no stranger to law enforcement, having spent over 34 years as an officer with the Houston Police Department before taking on a different role in public service as a city of Pasadena councilman and now our mayor, Jeff Wagner. Thank you, Chief. Please be seated. What an honor it is to be mayor of Pasadena. You know, I was talking to um, the grand, uh, I guess it was the great, no, it's the grandson and granddaughter of uh, Jeff Ginn, Branson and Kinsley sitting on the front row. And what they said a little while ago fits exactly what we're doing perfectly. They looked at me and they said, we must do everything we can do to never forget our fallen officers. That's it. This city does that. This city does it better than any other city in the country. What's great about Pasadena is this. Throughout the pandemic and the downcline of people thinking highly of our police officers, this city never felt that way. This city stood behind our police officers day in and day out. And I'm very proud to be a member of the citizens of this community to be behind our police officers. God bless you and God bless the family members here that lost loved ones serving our great city. Thank you so much. Good evening, my name is Josh Berger. I'm the police chief here for the Pasadena Police Department. Before we start, I wanna recognize some of the family members that are here. I know um, Jeff Ginn's uh, widow is here, uh, grandchildren, um, Julie Candelari, son Alex, somewhere back there in the middle. Um, I know uh, the Mejia family is here as well, and it means a lot um, that you all come out and that we're able to honor you um, tonight and your loved one. This event is dedicated to the law enforcement officers and the, their families of the Pasadena Police Department who gave their lives in the line of duty and serves as a reminder that our fallen officers are not forgotten. And while this event focuses on how these officers died, the focus should be on how these officers lived their lives. There's a quote at the National Law Enforcement Memorial that I'm particularly fond of, and it says this, it's not how these officers died that made them heroes, it's how they lived. And it's great to see so many of you here to honor the memory of these heroes. In 1962, President John Kennedy signed a proclamation designating May 15th as Peace Officers Memorial Day and the week in which it falls as Police Week. We gather in this same spot each year to reflect and honor the memory of our fallen officers, but the reality is, the memories of these fallen officers live on every day through all of us. While we are here to remember the following, or the fallen, I would be remiss if I did not take a minute to recognize all the men and women currently serving in law enforcement, but particularly those of the Pasadena Police Department. Policing is a difficult profession right now, probably the most difficult it's been in my 25 years. Even in a community that overwhelmingly supports this department, the officers also need the support of the district attorney's office in a criminal justice system that is committed to the rule of law. Politics has no place in law enforcement because it doesn't matter how we vote, we can all agree that we wanna live and visit communities that are safe. Unfortunately, the effects of the defund the movement occurring in other communities across this country are now coming to fruition and serve as a stark reminder of the importance of law enforcement, the line between good and evil. The Pasadena Police Department is a professional agency and despite all the challenges and frustrations, the officers here continue to serve honorably this great city. In a few minutes, we will pause to remember each of the six Pasadena police officers that lost their lives in the line of duty. 
Each of these names is a somber reminder of the inherent dangers of law enforcement. I know that for some of the families, friends, and loved ones of the fallen, the pain and loss is still there every day. It's hard to believe that just a few short weeks ago we marked the, de the met death of Officer Candelari. It was the 10th anniversary. And I did a little bit of math earlier, it may not be my strong suit, but I calculated that in 10 years there's over 3,650 days that have passed since that day. And while it's been 10 years, I can vividly remember where I was, as many of you can, uh, that Friday night when I got the call. And I hope it brings some comfort to know that the memory of your fallen loved ones lives on every day with the Pasadena Police Department. Monday this week, I was giving a tour uh, with Jenny Wagner uh, to a group of elementary kids. And we had stopped and dispatch, showed the kids uh, dispatch. And as we were standing there, um, Jenny shared with me a, a story about a, a, a young kid and a Jeff Ginn and a, and a picture. And I tell you that because the memories are all around us. Um, it, it's every day that, that, that there's a story. And so all these fallen officers left behind a legacy that's for all of us to carry on. Um, before I close, I want to recognize a few people. Um, this doesn't just happen by itself. This event takes a lot of people. Uh, first, I want to take the, the uh, Pasadena Volunteer Fire Department. Um, they're the largest all-volunteer fire department. Um, they don't get paid to come out here. Um, and so I want to say thank you to all the men and women of the department and Chief Armstrong. Um, I sent him an email that said, hey, can we get a flag? Um, within minutes, I had an email back from, from Chief Armstrong that said, it's done. We'll get it taken care of. And so um, the partnership um, be between the police department, the fire department, the other city departments uh, makes my job a lot easier. Um, Jacob Burke, he's somewhere kind of the unsung hero, keeps the lights on, keeps the air condition running, um, gets a chair set up, and so I want to recognize him. Uh, media relations, I was out here earlier, um, they were dripping in sweat, um, and I came out right before it started, and they were all cleaned up, and I'm like, what happened? And so they're like, we had to take showers, we were gross. So um, there's a lot that goes on. And then the honor guard, um, that they're all volunteers. It is nice when officers are willing to step up, and, and if you think about an honor guard assignment, um, it, it's really not a very pleasant assignment because normally it's there's been a line of duty death and we need you to go to a funeral to represent the department and uh, that can take a toll after a while and so um, hopefully you can all hear me out there but I want to thank you all the honor guard for all the work that they do again as I close I want to thank you all for your attendance here tonight and may God bless the fallen officers family not just here but across the nation and may God bless the Pasadena Police Department I ask that the family members stand as I call their loved one's name and remain standing for this portion of the ceremony. Arthur Claude Dowdy, end of watch, December 24, 1944. Police officer Arthur Claude Dowdy was directing traffic when he was inadvertently struck by a vehicle and killed. He was 54 years of age. Jeffrey Dean Ginn, End of watch, July 10th, 1991. Police officer Jeffrey Dean Ginn, a motorcycle officer, responded to a residence after observing smoke billowing from a fenced-in backyard. Officer Ginn was confronted by a mentally disturbed homeowner. During an exchange of gunfire, Officer Ginn was shot and killed. He was 29 years of age. Leslie Ian Early, end of watch, November 5th, 1993. Police officer Leslie Ian Early, a day shift patrol officer, was a member of the Pasadena SWAT team and was shot and killed by a suspect while executing a narcotics related search warrant. He was 28 years of age. Jesse Thomas Hamilton, end of watch, August 21st, 2009. Police officer Jesse Thomas Hamilton, a day shift patrol officer, responded to a report of a disturbance at a trailer park. While interviewing the reportee, the mentally disturbed assailant emerged from the house and shot and killed Officer Hamilton. He was 29 years of age. Larry Dale Candelari, end of watch, April 26, 2013. Police Officer Larry Dale Candelari was off duty when he came upon an accident on the interstate near Kerrville, Texas. Upon exiting his vehicle to render aid, an 18-wheeler struck other parked vehicles, causing them to strike and kill Officer Candelari. He was 49 years of age. Pedro Mejia Jr., end of watch, 
February 6, 2021. Police Officer Pedro Mejia Jr. died from complications as a result of contracting COVID-19 and an exposure while on duty. He was 49 years of age. We're also placing a wreath under the Texas flag to represent the Texas police officers killed in line of duty. In Texas in 2022, there were 36 law enforcement line of duty deaths. And I'll invite Chaplain Hatton back up to the podium for a closing prayer. Let's pray. Fathers, we honor those that have fallen. Let us not forget those that are still serving. I pray, Lord, for their safety as they walk up to a car, to a house, or any other situation, never knowing what danger awaits them. Lord, help them to make wise decisions using their training and common sense. When rush decisions are necessary, guide them and direct their paths. To the families of those who have lost loved ones in the line of duty, our words will never be able to comfort you in your grief, in your anger, in your sorrow. But we can point you to the one that can comfort you, and that's the Lord Jesus Christ. Psalms 147.3 assures us that God heals the brokenhearted binds up their wounds. And then Psalms 34, 18 promises, the Lord is close to the brokenhearted. He rescues those whose spirits are crushed. To the men and women in law enforcement who gave their lives, we thank you and will never forget you. In Jesus' name, amen.